Welcome to Visual Learners. Today, we bring you the inspiring story of Mira Marathi, the Chief Technology Officer of OpenAI. From her early days growing up to her pivotal role in shaping the future of artificial intelligence, Mira's journey is a testament to passion, perseverance, and innovation. Tonight we're taking a closer look at a new technology that's making waves in the world of AI, ChatGPT. No, I didn't write that. That's how the popular AI chatbot GPT Chat describes itself. I asked eight Harvard professors to grade essays. All of them were written by ChatGPT. The artificial intelligence bot ChatGPT coming for your job. AI continues to advance and integrate in the workforce. One of the pioneers in artificial intelligence is someone you probably never heard of but have definitely used some of her products. Mira Marathi is a private person, but she's currently the chief technology officer of OpenAI. She's led the development and launch of OpenAI's consumer-facing products, ChatGPT and DALL-E, and the underlying technologies behind them. Though she didn't start off as a CTO of the company, she joined as a VP of Applied AI and Partnerships in 2018 and worked her way up to the CTO position in 2022. How to get the most out of the model, um, how to prompt it in the right ways, give it enough context for mm -hmm. what you're looking for. To understand Mira and her role at OpenAI, we first must look at her origins and where she came from. She was born in 1988 in Valor, Albania to Albanian parents who were both high school teachers. She eventually moved to Victoria, Canada when she was just 16 years old to complete her high school education at the Lester B. Pearson United World College of the Pacific. After high school, she moved to the U.S. and graduated from Bayer School of Engineering at Dartmouth College in Ivy League in 2012 with a Bachelor of Engineering degree in Mechanical Engineering. During her college days, she started her career off with an internship at Goldman Sachs in Tokyo, Japan for a summer as an analyst. Upon graduating college around the age of 24, she began working at a French aerospace and defense company called Zodiac Aerospace in Huntington Beach, California for a little over a year. Then she took her talent and moved to Tesla in the San Francisco Bay Area where she was a senior product manager working on the Model X for three years. In 2016, she joined a hot new startup at the time called Leap Motion, working on spatial computing and hand tracking technologies. This was Mira's first executive leadership role in which she joined as the VP of Product and Engineering. The company has now been rebranded as Ultra Leap. June 2018 marked the beginning of Mira's four-year-long journey at OpenAI that led to her rise to the CTO role and to become one of the most influential people in the industry. Having worked with a few people at OpenAI before, like Elon Musk, she first joined OpenAI as the VP of Applied AI and Partnerships in June 2018, then got promoted to the Senior Vice President of Research, Product, and Partnerships in December 2020. Finally, in May 2022, she got promoted again to the Chief Technology Officer role. As the CTO, She's responsible for guiding the teams on the ground, planning, communicating, and executing the company's longer-term vision and strategy, and making sure teams are well-supported to succeed. It's a big role, especially at a company working on cutting-edge technology that seems to be holding the fate of humanity in its hands. This has led to notable consumer-facing products like ChatGPT and Dolly. Mira's vision extends beyond groundbreaking AI technology. She's also deeply committed to ensuring that these advancements are used ethically and that they truly benefit all of humanity. Mira is a distinguished tech expert who admits to the duality of technology and the potential damage that might occur if misused. Has paved the way for current AI systems like ChatGPT. It'll figure out ways of manipulating people to do what it wants. She's mentioned in multiple interviews about ChatGPT's shortcomings and the need for AI regulations. It's actually not just her that speaks about this, but her entire company, even Sam Altman, the CEO. One of the hardest problems to tackle is removing AI hallucinations entirely. AI hallucinations are when a model generates false information. This actually happens pretty frequently as of 2023. For Mira, AI can be misused or it can be used by bad actors. So 
then there are questions about how you govern the use of this technology globally. How do you govern the use of AI in a way that's aligned with human values? She believes the need to bring these issues into the public discourse in a controlled and responsible manner. Everyone, including policymakers, should join the conversation. This need for the public to join the conversation actually is what prompted OpenAI to release ChatGPT to the public back in the second half of 2022. At that time, they actually had ChatGPT for a while. The product was at a stage where it needed feedback from the rest of the world if it was going to improve itself. And so the company decided to release it to the world on November 30th, 2022. Ethical AI continues to be one of the most important conversation topics in history. If you were to network them together and flock them together using AI, which they're not doing yet, then you could have them swarm and follow targets and, and really have an impact. I think it changes war forever. Mira's journey from Valor, Albania to San Francisco as the technology leader at one of the hottest tech companies today is a testament to her passion for AI and her dedication to developing a safer technology driven world. Not much is really known about her personal life as she keeps it pretty private, but nonetheless, she is one of the most important people today and she's still pretty young. She's only in her mid thirties. Can we trust potentially the fate of humanity to her team and her leadership? What about all the other companies doing similar things only time will tell inside a nondescript building in the heart of san francisco one of the world's buzziest startups is making our ai powered future feel more real than ever before they're behind two monster hits chat gpt and dali and somehow beat the biggest tech giants to market kicking off a competitive race that's forced them all to show us what they've got but how did this under the radar startup pull it off we're inside OpenAI, and we're gonna get some answers. Is it magic? Is it just algorithms? Is it gonna save us or destroy us? Let's go find out. I love the plants. It feels so alive. So amazing. I love it here. It's giving me very Westworld spa vibes. <laughs> it's almost like suspended in space and time a little bit. Yeah, it has a little bit of futuristic feel. This is one of the most introspective minds at OpenAI. We all know Sam Altman, the CEO, but Mira Marathi is a chief architect behind OpenAI's strategy. This looks like the uh, OpenAI logo. It is. Ilya actually painted this. Ilya, the chief scientist. Yes. What is the flower meant to symbolize? My guess is that it's AI that loves humanity. We're very focused on dealing with the challenges um, of hallucination, truthfulness, um, reliability, alignment of these models. Has anyone left because they're like, you know what, I disagree? There have been, over time, people that left to start other organizations mm -hmm. um, because of disagreements on the strategy around deployment. And how do you find common ground when disagreements do arise? You know, you want to be able to have this constant dialogue um, and figure out how to systematize these concerns. What is the job of a CTO? It's a combination of guiding the teams on the ground, thinking about longer term strategy, um, figuring out our gaps mm -hmm. and making sure that the teams are well supported to succeed. Yeah. Sounds like a big job. Solving impossible problems. Solving impossible problems, <laughs> yeah. When you were making the decision about releasing ChatGPT into the wild, I'm sure there was like a go or no go moment. Take me back to that day. We um, had ChatGPT for a while and we sort of hit a point where we could really benefit from having more feedback from how people are using it, what are the risks, what are the limitations, um, and learn more about this technology that we have created and start bringing it in the public consciousness. It became the fastest growing tech product in history. It like, did. Did that surprise you? I mean, what was your reaction to the world's reaction? We were surprised by how much it captured the imaginations of the general public and how much people just loved spending time talking to this AI system and interacting with it. ChatGPT can now mimic a human, it can write, it can code. 
at the most basic level, how does this all happen? So ChatGPT is a neural network that has been trained on a huge amount of data on a massive supercomputer. And the goal during this training process was to predict the next word in a sentence. And it turns out that as you train larger and larger models, add more and more data, the capabilities of these models um, also increase. They become more powerful, more helpful. Um, and as you invest more on alignment and safety, they become more reliable mm -hmm. and safe over time. Stay inspired and keep learning with visual learners. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more inspiring stories from around the world.